first time in any Resident Evil game I've ever played. Actually, no, I did feel bad for Sarah. Uh, Sarah? Sarah? Who got killed in Resident Evil 4? He was a Spanish guy who's pretty damn awesome. I felt bad for him. He kind of reminded me of Antonio Banderas or something like that. But uh, I felt bad when he got killed. But other than that, that's the first time I've ever kind of... I've ever felt bad for anyone who's died in Resident Evil. Or in any zombie movie ever. Alright. Rest in peace, okay? pals. Yeah. For whatever reason, we're still alive. We're cutting through the cemetery to reach the cathedral. Alright. Hang on. Clothes are getting all wet. Give me a look. Oh yeah, still perky, still perky. I have to say though, Helena is probably my favorite Resident Evil uh, heroine. And I know enough about Resident Evil to know that that's, that's a, that's an unbiased... Oh shit! Oh shit, it's a ghoul! You can't even call that thing a zombie. It's a ghoul. Ah, fuck you, I'm just gonna... There we go! Alright, so are these guys coming back from like the crypts and everything? Or... Oh shit, where's... Oh, we got more. I wonder if I can stomp him. Might suit my needs better. Oh, there we go. He tried to grab me. I was just a little bit too fast. Helena, it's good to see you're doing well. All right, so we're headed. All right, we're headed that way. Okay. Um, so yeah, I do feel, do feel bad for. Our, I miss our survivor pals. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, I accepted long ago as soon as I saw them that they were dead. But oh, that was just. Oh shit. I was gonna say that, that was just flat out embarrassing. Oh, <laughs> underwater DDT. <laughs> oh shit, hang on, he dropped some, um... Oh. Oh shit, I'm out of ammo. Alright then. <laughs> Straight kick to the stomach. Alright, my shotgun's all I got. There was some handgun ammo dropped down there. I wonder if I can drop back down. Because, you know, the handgun ammo would be very handy to me right now. Alright, so we're headed this way. Is that a zombie? Oh, it's a statue. I was wondering, it's standing very, very incredibly. Oh, hang on. I got this. Oh, I'm just gonna bludgeon the. Oh, there you go. Just, just stay down, have a seat. Cool off for a little bit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Swing and a miss, pal. He fell for her. Oh, oh, I gotta say, I do like the whole melee kill thing. And I do appreciate all of the shotgun ammo that I've been given, but uh, handgun ammo tends to come in more, uh, more quantity. So I would also like some of that. Alright, so I kind of get the feeling I'm coming off the beaten track a little bit. I'm getting a bit lost. Those things keep coming out of the shadows, coming out of the darkness. As if cemeteries... Oh! Oh, shit! <laughs> that was very well done. Alright, so two shotgun blasts and that's enough for these guys. Where's Helena? She seems to be having... Oh, here we go! Oh, just shoulder charge him! Is that some... Oh, we got some handgun ammo! Oh! Jesus! Had to be face to face to the guy before I even recognize him. Alright, that was... More of a camera angle issue than anything. Alright, just want to make sure I'm all armored up. That I have all my guns... Locked and loaded before I, uh... Before I actually need them. Never hurts to be prepared. Prevention is the best cure. Except for zombie infection. I don't know, for zombie infection, prevention is exactly the kind of cure that you want. Oh shit! I saw him coming. I saw you coming. I was just a little slow on the reaction front. Alright, attack the woman. Just leave me be. Oh. Shotgun to the face. Being pistol whipped is bad enough. Being shotgun whipped is just... Not even a zombie wants to go that way. So these guys seem to be coming out of the ground. I never realized that the... Although I suppose, yeah, it brings you back. It brings, you know, all cells, all undead cells back to life. So that makes perfect sense. There we go. So if you double tap R2, I think you just kind of... You use all of your... Um, I want to go in here and see if there's anything. Oh, shit. I got gotcha. you. That is no way to treat a lady. Assholes like you are the reason why chivalry is dead. This is why women think it's okay for men to treat them like assholes. <laughs> I refuse to... I refuse to support that way of thinking. I really do. Um, so, there's a there's a whole bunch of Resident Evil movies out at this point. The live action ones with Mila Jovovich, who I might... I just want to add is very easy on the eyes. She's the main thing that those Resident Evil movies got going from. 
And um Alright, so we gotta go through this door too. And then there's the uh there's one Oh shit, you're kidding me! We're about to get shoveled in the back of the head. Oh as if we don't have enough problems. Alright. I do appreciate that dog fucking off. Not sure if I was a zombie dog or just I'm gonna go ahead and be very accepting of it just going about his business. I like animals, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it live. Oh, we got the shoveler back. There we go. Just stay out of my life. I never asked you to come into it. There we go. I really do think the downfall of all these Resident Evil protagonists is their complete inability to close doors. I don't believe you're dead for a second. Oh, no, but I guess I gotta accept that. You are apparently dead. Alright. So coming in here didn't really serve... It didn't serve any purpose. Except to have that dog jump at me and scare the absolute ever-loving shit out of me. It scared the fuck-loving shit out of me. Do not feel like getting shoveled today. I don't want to believe get the key. Guess there are worse things than chasing a dog through a cemetery. Yeah, it could be chasing us. Oh! Oh! Yeah, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I almost. Oh shit, you got me anyway, nonetheless. Oh, you had ample opportunity. I had every. Fuck her. I fucked that up. I always do. I panic. But uh, fortunately, Helena was there for me. Alright, there we go. I have to say, one of my main concerns was. Originally, was that they were gonna have the. Uh, Oh, the hell am I meant to chase down that dog? Was well, that they were going to add the whole run and gun mechanic into the Resident Evil franchise? And, you know, I was kind of a bit worried that they weren't going to have it right, but they made it work. They did. I mean, it's not fantastic or anything, don't get me wrong, but, you know, it works. It works really well. Um, yeah. Because I know Raccoon City was the first one to ever, to ever try it. Oh, we gotta... I hate to do this to animals, but... I have every reason to believe that they were... Yeah, they were infected doggies. I have no reason killing zombie Fido. Put them out of their misery. You know, sometimes they just have to be euthanized. But when it comes to killing real dogs, no thank you. Oh, okay. Because I remember in Resident Evil 4... Can I kick him? Ah, oh, he's a bit nimble. Oh, Elena just... Just drop kicked him like a badass. I'll help her out in a moment. A little occupado right now. Oh, that's how we do it. That's just how we roll. Ah, no, head crush. There we go. So I think I'm at 900 subscribers right now. It's another milestone. We're on the road to a thousand. And um, yeah, my channel really wouldn't be nearly anywhere near the level that it's at right now if it wasn't for all the support you guys show me. So I want to give you guys a big old bromantic thank you for that. I love you all. Platonically, I know, I know. I'm, I'm sorry if you want more, but uh, platonic love, it's, it's the most I can give you. Are you kidding me? Where I hit Oh! There really is very few problems in life whacking someone with a shovel can saw. Hang on, we got this. I did mention in a previous video that I'd love to come to a graveyard in a zombie outbreak and have the single greatest game of whack-a-mole ever. Oh, hang on, we got him. I'd hate to hurt you, brother. I really would. I love dogs. Undead or otherwise. But, uh... Does not leave me much choice in the matter. He has a key and I want it. You wouldn't mind, but all he is, essentially, is a dog with a bone. Well, he's a dog with a key. But, you know, he's not all that terrible. Alright, so we gotta run all the way around here. I think, really, personally, it's nothing a belly rub wouldn't solve. Oh, shit! Ah, oh, no! Oh, I panicked! Thank you, Helena, for coming in there at the last minute. <laughs> it was last minute, but it's still very much appreciated. Alright, so I think he's still going. <laughs> he's a champ. He is really hanging in there. Um, also, I get a lot of people ask me, am I bringing back certain series? It actually tends to be the, the Jack series that I get asked a lot about. And yes, I will be bringing it back, but at the moment, because I'm working full time. So it's... um. Oh shit, I got no health packs whatsoever. So it's incredibly difficult for me to juggle two series. It's hard enough for me to focus on one series at a time. Um, so who knows what the future holds? 
because uh, my contract it does expire on the 18th of November, and I'm hoping it gets ex extended. I'm pretty confident that it will. But um, you know, if it doesn't, then fantastic. That leaves. Oh, we got him. I feel terrible, but we got him. All right, we got the cemetery key. Oh! Now let's get to that cathedral. All right, guess we head on up. I think I'm gonna just make a bit of a mad dash for it rather than fight every enemy that comes my way. Cause um, I like my ammo, I like it. And I get the feeling this cathedral, I mean look at it, that's got boss fight written all over it. So yeah, I'm kind of dreading it a little bit. So the more ammo I have going into this, the better. Do I have to wait for Elena or? Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. That was very, that was okay, very right. nice of him. Granted, we do need <laughs> the two of us to open it, but. Oh. oh, you're kidding me! 